In this video, I'm going to show you a great little change up type of concept that you can use out of the gun bunch to basically just destroy every single coverage. The reason that I like this so much is because most people, when you come out to the with your bunch to the short side of the field, it's very often that you're, or it's very common that you're going to go ahead and flip it. What we're actually going to do with this is we are going to leave our bunch uh, to the short side of the field and uh, just really excited to share this with you because I think you're going to find that this is a great little short side of the field setup that you can use to literally just beat the meta. A lot of people are running Tampa 2, so we're going to show it first against Cover 2 and then we're going to show it against a couple different defenses. Now, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I post videos like this every single day that can help you get better at Madden. And I think the bunch is obviously the best offense in the game. So if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offense, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below in the comment in the pinned comment down there. Um, you can get the full offensive ebook for just 15 bucks. Or if you haven't signed up for my true fan membership, uh, if you sign up for my true fan membership, you get access to unlimited access to everything. And it's just 10 bucks a month. Uh, and you can cancel whenever you want. So if you want to get access to all of my material, um, all of our eBooks are updated uh, uh, updated for the course of the season. Um, so the bunch guide has been updated several times, the patches and things like that as well. And uh, the bottom line is it's the best offense in the game. So if you want to learn exactly how to run it, we actually don't, don't just break down the Seattle bunch, but we break down every bunch in the game. So that being said, if you want to get access to it again, I'm going to put a link to that down in the comments. All right, guys, let's talk about bunch and let's talk about really a great little play that you can use to the short side of the field uh, whenever you're running bunch. And that is the play verticals, gun bunch verticals. Now I'm in the Seattle book. I think Seattle's the best bunch playbook. And the reason why is not only do you have the clear out SE out play, you've got bunch trail, and then you've also got the bunch tied in, which has PA boot over. And I would argue pound for pound is one of the best plays in the game. So that being said, let's dive into verticals and show you a great, great concept. Now, most people that defend bunch, they're used to defending the flooding concepts. What I mean by the flooding concepts would be if I put a streak, a corner and a flat on the field, um, you know, people are kind of used to defending them. Right. And there I missed my read. But the, the corner route was wide open. OK, so let me show you that again. So if I if I just run uh, Z spot and go and I streak circle. You should see here that the R1, the corner route, uh, for the most part, I don't know why Gilmore's bagging me, but anyways, the bottom line is people are used to defending the flooding concepts. Another, I'll give you another example real quick. Um, you know, the play flood, where you have a high-low, basically. It's, you know, fl streak corner flat, streak out route flat. You know, you could run bench pivot, which is basically, you know, tight end weird route and basically tight end corner, uh, flat and streak. So the bottom line is that's what people are used to defending. With this concept, what you're going to find is that we're going to actually, um, I think, do something a little unique. So uh, what we're going to do with this, what I like to do with this play, is I like to go ahead and simply take the tight end and put him on a drag. I'm going to put the triangle receiver, which is the running back, on an in route. And then I'm going to put the circle receiver on a curl. Now, the reason that I like this so much, and, and if you have time, go ahead and streak square instead of having the fade, but the fade is fine. The reason why I like this in particular setup is because what we're going to do is this crossing route, I've done a video on this before, but this crossing route is one of the deeper crossing routes of the game. And so let's say, for example, they're running their cover two with like 30 yard cloud flats. This is going to do a really good job of getting over the top of the 30 yard cloud flat. So you'll see here, snap of the ball, we get good protection. As long as we have good protection, you're going to see that we can basically throw that. The beauty of that crossing route is, like I said, I think it's the deepest might just be the deepest crosser in the game um, and it comes from the gun bunch okay so if they're running cover two you know this is a great 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 play now the other reason why i like this this concept the way that i like it like this with the with the curl uh and the running back in route is because this now gives me this tight end drag and this tight end drag is really 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 good against something like um let me give you an example if i were to go to let me see if I can just, I'll just hot route it actually. Um, so let's say that I were to, um, you know, play a soft squat on uh, this side here. Let me see, make sure Jackson, soft squat. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna put him in a soft squat, like a cover two sink. A lot of people like that zone. Well, if I have that vertical runoff and my running back is not on a flat route, the game will basically say soft squat, you take the vertical. 
So what that's going to do is you'll see the soft squat will run with him until the drag comes into his uh, field of view. And then obviously, as you see, now I will tell you a lot of times, and I guess I just didn't grab cover two sync. Um, let me do it from cover six because a lot of people like to run cover six as well. So what you'll see is like, let's say I run cover six. When they see the running back go to the middle of the field like that, oftentimes they're looking to, you know, like corner route or whatever. So what you'll see here is again, take a look at that. You see there that soft squat glitched out. And as you see, the tight end is now a great little read over the middle of the field because now, and that's why I like it better. Cause if I sent, if I just sent the running back to the flat on like an out route and let's say I did this, this setup is very good too, but I like the other one better. And the reason why is because if you watch this, you're going to see if I throw this route, that corner is very likely to come down and play it. They, they don't have to hard flat on that side for me to be able to do this. But let's say again, that I run the tight end on the drag um, if they don't have a hard flat, if I just wait on this a little bit, you should see that tight end get over there. Now, again, I'm, you know, getting blitzed out of my mind by four, uh, classic Madden 22 practice mode. So I'm just going to take this off. But again, obviously your first read, you're going to read it quick, right? You're, you're going to look to your, your, your fade. You're going to look to your running back. You're going to go through your progressions. But the bottom line is, if they if I wait on this, oftentimes that soft squat won't even stay. Now in that example he, he did, but oftentimes he really doesn't. Okay, so you know that's just something that you can you know kind of tuck away as as a as an idea. So what this is going to force them to do is it's going to force them to play uh, play with a hard flat coverage. So let me go to uh, three three five wide, and we're just going to run hard flat. Now, if they go to a hard flat coverage, now what you've got is you've got a couple things. If you have a way to hit that fade, you can hit him. And then, of course, you can hit your crosser. Your crosser is even more open with that coverage. So now what you're going to get into is this double flat, where they're going to basically double flat you on both sides, right? Well, the problem with that is they're still going to have to use her, the crosser. The crosser is going to be open regardless. So we know their user is going to go to the crosser. But if you wait on this, this is a great check down, this curl over on the right, because they have to take the yellow off the field because they have to Mabel. They have to play Mabel coverage. And if they don't want to play Mabel coverage, let's say, for example, they're just going to play standard cover two, and they're just going to Mabel uh, one side. So they're going to double flat to the left, and they're not going to double flat to the right. Well, if they don't double flat to the right, this running back route should become wide open because again, these delayed flat routes are really good because the curl is gonna hold that cloud flat and it's gonna basically allow me to throw the running back. And so this play is just a nightmare to, to defend, to be honest. Now, another thing that you wanna understand about this is let's say you wanted to run this play with a little bit of extra pass protection. What I like to do is essentially the same exact concept, except now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my circle receiver and I'm gonna put him on a smart routed in route and I'm just gonna motion him to the right. So I block my running back, and now we're just gonna do kind of a traditional flood to the bunch side. And that crosser, I cannot stress to you how good that route really is. It's probably one of the best routes in the game this year, and people aren't using it. They really aren't. Um, you know, the best of the best are using it, but a lot of average players and beginner players, they don't even know to call this because for years it's just been call Z-spot, call Z-spot, call Z-spot, call Z-spot. Verticals hasn't been that great. This year, I can't tell you how good that crosser really is. It's especially if you run it to the short side of the field, as you see that I'm doing in this video. So, you know, you could, if you wanted to, just do this as well, because um, you got that option route to the running back. So if they blitz you, he'll stay in the block. See there, he picks up the pressure, and then he'll just release, and you can check down to the back. So a lot of, a lot of flexibility within this. Um, another one of my favorite plays, and Madden, uh, and again, Bunch is just so good, man. It really is. Um, you can outroute the tight end, and by the way, if you want to, uh, I find outrouting the tight end is really good if they're playing some kind of cover two. Um, you know, we didn't go over this too much against man coverage. Suffice to say, for now, um, you know, pretty much every route is going to beat man, with the exception if they're playing like a deep coverage, that fade might not. But I'll tell you what, that drag this year really is good, and, and I would just encourage you. Try out the tight end drag. Uh, I, know, I don't really see a lot of people running tight end drags, and I feel like tight end drags are super, super good. 
If you want to leave this guy on his route, you certainly can do that. Um, you'll see here later on in the cover two, if I got enough time, I can fit that over the top as well. So there's a lot of potential from verticals this year. You, you don't want to zero in on just the crosser, though. I think that's super important. So by using this tight end drag route, you know, and then even if you wanted to, shoot, you could do something like this and then just basically run Kirk on a delayed in route, you know, something like this right here. And now you've got, you know, basically two underneath patterns. And oftentimes, and again, the yellow played really well there, but especially if they're Maybelline, like that, that might not cover that right? It might not cover that. And, and you can do something like this. And now, you know, you just got really good flooding concepts from Bunch. You can flood both sides of the field. I would really encourage you to try out that crosser though, and then kind of tailor some routes around it. And if you if you call that when, you, if you complement plays like clear out SE out and plays like um, uh, Z spot and go and flood with stuff like this, it's going to make the offense ridiculously hard to defend. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my entire bunch guide, I'm going to put a link in the description and in the comment section below so that you can get access to that guide. And again, remember, if you want to get access to all of my eBooks, uh, I would encourage you to join the True Fan membership. It gets you access to everything, all my eBooks, all my exclusive tips, and uh, a lot of other stuff that we're working on behind the scenes. So make sure to join that True Fan membership for just 10 bucks a month. Remember, you can cancel whenever you'd like. It's just a simple Patreon, but it's the best way to support me as a creator. And in my personal opinion, it's the best way for you to be able to get access to some of the highest level Madden tips and eBooks in the community.